Hello guys. Today we are doing a quick, simple, and easy pineapple upside down cake with uh, boxed ingredients. This is a quick method of getting delicious um, pineapple upside down cake in, very, uh, in a very quick time. So we're gonna wait guys for, for people to join. I know that I'm a little bit late, about 30 minutes late. So we'll give you guys a bit of time for those of you that are not here yet, but hello, Mercy B, welcome. <clears throat> hello, BMF7831, thank you for joining today. Don't really have my setup for today, but we're doing my, you know, I'm doing my best to um, have it somewhat set up. Don't have all my equipment, but we're gonna do uh, a quick uh, pineapple upside down cake in, using boxed a boxed um, cake mix. And uh, we're going to, um, also do a giveaway. As you can see, we are here in my new home. Uh, possibly tonight will be the first night that we stay here in the new home. Uh, not quite yet uh, settled in yet. A lot of stuff needs to be done. Um, so uh, I'm hoping that within the next couple of days we'll be finally settled in. But uh, we'll see. As you can see, uh, as you guys can tell, Yes, we are using gas range, a gas range now. So uh, we moved on from the electric over to a gas range. Uh, hello, uh, CI fanatic or cast iron fanatic. Welcome. Bookworm 73, welcome. For Jim 44, welcome. BMF, Mercy B. Jackie Mills, hello from Texas. Hello, Jackie. All right. Uh, bear with us. Just give me about two or three minutes. That way I can get everything set up and uh, we'll wait also for, for, those of, uh, for those others that I know are usuals to join in. As I mentioned, we are in the new home. Not fully moved in yet, but we're getting close, very, very close now. So I'm hopeful that uh, we'll be fully moved in by the weekend, but we'll see about that. guys and for those of you that are here also we have a little bit of a, a giveaway today actually uh, this um, is technically going to be my first time making anything here uh, I'm not going to be using the cooktop we're actually going to be baking today so we're going to be baking uh, we're going to make a pineapple a pineapple upside down cake and uh, we'll be using a boxed mix as you can tell, I, my kitchen still isn't there uh, completely. My living room is not there either, my dining room. So uh, we still have clothes everywhere, and uh, we're just trying to get finally settled in. So with that, I appreciate everybody who is here. Rick Stumbaugh. Uh Rick, welcome, Rick. Uh, William Hurt, Hippie Longshanks. Welcome, guys. BMF, once again, thank you, everybody, for joining in. Um, I don't have my full setup so I'm doing my best to uh, have you guys able to see here but I'm gonna move you guys around so this is the new kitchen as you can tell very um, very different than the other one I do like that uh, we have a gas range now um, not I don't have all my stuff here yet I don't have all my iron here yet I only have well, what you see here, I have my Griswold number nine. I have the Stargazer uh, number 12 and uh, my mother's uh, skillet, which uh, it's a Delmonico. This is the, uh, the only skillet she ever bought herself. So uh, I have that here as well. 
And uh, we have the um, Griswold, also the uh, Stargazer. So forgive me, guys, if I'm getting you guys dizzy. I am moving things around, uh, and I don't have my setup. I wish I had my, um, my tripod. Right now I'm just using a little iPhone holder thing, and I'm actually streaming from my phone, guys. I don't have my full setup, so quality might not be uh, fantastic, so forgive me for that. Audio also might not be fantastic. Yeah, guys, so this is the, uh, we're going to be using today the Stargazer. And uh, I was going to use the Griswold, but I decided I uh, haven't used the Stargazer in a while, so we're going to be using that. I do know that uh, Stargazer is bringing out their 13-inch dual-handle pan soon. Um, they do updates. It's been almost two years now, and uh, they, they quite haven't been able to get it down, I guess. But uh, I'm hopeful that uh, sometime this year they'll have something uh, in our hands, so I'm hopeful for that. Once again, guys, uh, we are doing a giveaway, so stick around. Let's, let's actually get started. I'm going to set you guys back down over here, and uh, I know it's a little hard to see. Oh my goodness, here. Actually, let me move the uh, Griswold. All righty. Hopefully this will work. Okay, there we are, guys. Bear with me. All right, guys, so for the uh, pineapple, pineapple upside down cake, what we're gonna need, ingredient list, here we go. Uh, I like this one here, it doesn't have added sugar, so that's, this is a plus for me. I'm gonna use this. Um, we're also gonna use, uh, hopefully I remember, so remind me guys, because I always tend to forget to add the, uh, I forget how to say, mar maraschino, maraschino, cherries cocktail cherries just for those of you that might not know cocktail cherries we're going to be using those as well and um, the cake mix that i actually like using uh, for a quick pineapple upside down cake when you don't have all the ingredients that you need to make your own i like using this one here betty crocker i know it's you know it's uh it's a, I, I get good results let's just put it that way this is why i like it i get good results so i'm some of you might not like this but uh, you can always make these better. So we're gonna add the uh, one cup of water. We're gonna need a half a cup of vegetable oil and three eggs. So with that, let me grab a mixing bowl and we're gonna get started. Also, I got a lot of butter here. We got some Kerrygold butter. And um, yeah, so we're gonna get started, guys. And I'll show you the process of the way I make uh, a quick, fast, and delicious pineapple upside down cake. We need a mixing bowl. Once again, I don't have my full setup, so let me know. I still don't have internet here either, so I am using uh, my cellular data. I do have unlimited, so don't worry about that, guys, but I'm hoping that, um, that um, the uh, connection doesn't cut out or the audio doesn't cut out and we don't have any problems. But let me know, guys, if everything is fine, if the audio is okay, and also the video. All right, let me just rinse my uh, mixing bowls here. We'll get started. Right now, uh, with moving and all, and uh, everything that we just did, and uh, you know, having to go through all the stuff, uh, 
you don't, you know, you tend to forget about things in drawers, and that's what happened. I had a lot of stuff in my drawers that I, that I had completely forgotten about, and uh, like this mixing bowl, a really large mixing bowl that's uh, actually really, really nice. I had completely forgotten about it, but let me show you guys. And um, I'm stoked because, uh, you know, it has the handle, it has a pour spout, it's a large size. I think it's, it says two liters. How many cups are there here? We got about eight cups, so two quarts. So a good size for, for mixing. All right, you guys. So. Hopefully everybody is having a lovely week night. Uh, as I mentioned, I have been uh, moving and uh, doing my best to finally move you know, be moved in. Oh, my sister's in the chat. She's actually, so everybody say hello to my sister, Sylvia. Uh, she actually helped me out, so uh, I appreciate that a lot. She helped me move, and uh, she's been helping me these last couple days with a lot of stuff, so thank you to my sister for helping me out. All righty, guys, so we're gonna save the box. We're using this one here for a quick pineapple upside down cake. Let me actually switch the cameras around. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Hopefully I don't get anybody dizzy, but there we are. All right. Move this over here. Let's get started, guys. All right, so we're gonna use this. Where are my scissors? All right, there we go, pouring this guy in. So as I mentioned, this is gonna be the first time that I use the oven. So I, you know, if you guys have new, new, uh, you know, like a new stove or anything like that, it always smells and I hope that uh, this doesn't have that burning smell of the, you know, manufacturing oils because I, I dislike that a lot. But anyway, we're using that. What else do we need? We need uh, a cup of water and then a half a cup of vegetable oil. So let's do that. I'm gonna grab some water. Alrighty guys, we got one cup of water here, filtered water. And then we're gonna use that same cup and we're gonna fill in, and I'm actually using olive oil, but it's a light tasting olive oil, so um, I prefer that over any other kind of oil, to be honest. I mean, avocado oil is fine as well, uh, grapeseed oil. Um, I, I only like using uh, canola for frying, but I stay away from canola for frying, or for baking, I'm sorry. And I tend to use uh, either olive oil or um, avocado. So half a cup, so about four ounces of oil. And yes, it does say frying oil, but it's this is a mixture of olive oil. It's refined, so it is a higher heat. And I tend to use this for sauteing. Uh, versus, um, you know, standard virgin olive oil. That's mo mostly for, um, um, for dressings and, and vinaigrettes. But, yep, we got half a cup here. Okay, there we go. And lastly, we need three eggs. Put this in the sink. All righty, let me grab some eggs. Now, no sponsorship here, guys, but one company, uh, you know, like eggs that I like is uh, Happy Egg. Uh, and I like grabbing their blue, or I'm sorry, their, yeah, their blue carton ones because they also come with these like bluish green eggs. And uh, my brother and my, well, yeah, my brother actually, he, uh, he has some chickens which actually lay these eggs. So I do like that a lot. Uh, these, these are 
kind of, you know, like somewhat a farm fresh egg. My family has tons of eggs and uh, they don't refrigerate them. They just, you know, clean them with a brush and they leave them out. Sometimes they do refrigerate it, but you don't need to when they're farm fresh eggs. But anyway, we're gonna use these uh, three eggs. We're just gonna crack them in there. Now, the little secret to make this a bit better than the, your standard, you know, boxed, that was butchered, um, than your standard uh, boxed cake is we're gonna actually use some of that pineapple juice from the can. We're gonna incorporate it into this mixture to give it more of a zing. Um, and it's just something that I saw from, um, I can't remember the channel. I, I think it was Natasha's, like the, the she's really famous YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that. Anyway, we're gonna throw these away. real quick. We're not going to add too much of that pineapple juice. We're just, we'll eyeball it, but I want to say maybe about um, uh, half of that can or maybe less. We're not going to use too much. And the other reason why I like using that one that has uh, less sugar is uh, for that same reason, I don't want it to be extremely sweet. Uh, I want a little bit of tart uh, into that, that bread, into the cake mix. So with that being said, let's get to mixing. Actually, before we start, let me see uh, any comments that you guys might have. Let's see what the chat is talking about. Yeah, so um, I don't know exactly, but I think it's a type of chicken that lays that certain type of egg. Um, all I know is that my family has some of those as well. Debbie says, use milk instead of water. I, yeah, I, I've actually heard people of using milk, but I don't have any right now. Otherwise, I think I would have gone that route. Oh, my sister says that she, yeah, she has been asking me to make a chocolate cake. I have two chickens that lay the same color eggs as those. Yeah, so it's the, I guess it's the, uh, the kind of chicken that you have that uh, lays those kind of eggs. Upside down pineapple cake, yes. Is this a Pyrex? Uh, I don't think so. No, this is Anchor, not Pyrex. Yeah. No, Pyrex is, uh, I'll be honest, Pyrex is a bit more expensive than than uh, Anchor, so I, I you, you know, when I bought this stuff, this was before I was more of a cook, and actually, I, th I think my wife bought all this stuff, so she bought all this, and uh, now that I took over the cooking, um, now I, I know, you know, some of these other brands, but I think this one's fine, and as I mentioned, I forgot about this, so I'm glad that I found that. As long as the yolks look like dark orange Super Bowls, I'm in. Yeah, that's what they look like. They're super dark. All right, you guys, so we're going to give this a quick mix. And so what we're going to do is actually mix this first, and then we'll switch over to the uh, stove top, and we're going to use, uh, we're going to melt some butter, and we're going to add some, um, some brown sugar as well. And uh, with these box mixes, you don't want to add any more sugar either. So as I mentioned, when using that, that pineapple juice from this uh, can, that avoids over, you know, adding too much sugar into your mixture. Uh, that way your breading or your cake itself doesn't become so sweet. And uh, it'll still have that tartness from the pineapple juice. All righty. And uh, for those of you that stick around all the way to the end, guys, I do have a giveaway, and I'll tell you guys that in a, in a minute when we start baking. I'll, I'll show you guys. We'll do the uh, we'll do the giveaway actually uh, midway. So bear with me, guys.
what I'm going to do is open it, not all the way, but kind of like halfway. That way we can use some of that pineapple juice. And I want to say that's okay. So just a tiny tad. We don't need to use too much. Otherwise, uh, the uh, bread might, or, you know, the cake mix might not be uh, as, as uh, crumbly as you need it to be. And it might be a bit soggy and dense. So we don't want that. Maybe a tiny tad more. And if anything, this is possibly about a, a tablespoon, maybe a tablespoon and a half that you might want to use. Don't use too much since uh, we already added some other uh, wet ingredients in this. So with that, that's what we're aiming for. And that's what we're going to keep it at, guys. So there we are. Now let's switch over to the, uh, the cast iron skillet. Sorry guys, I hope I'm not getting you guys dizzy by moving you guys around like that. Anyway, here we go. So, I already cleaned it and we're ready to go. So we're gonna use a medium low. I'm gonna turn this, my fan on, so hopefully you guys can still hear. Let me know if that's too loud. If it's too loud, I'll turn it off. We probably, actually, you know what, we probably don't need it, so let me just turn it off right now. But we're going to use um, some brown sugar is what we're going to need and some butter. So we're going to let that preheat just a tiny tad, and then we're going to stir in some um, brown sugar and butter. Let's see. Oh, yes, I do have my spatula. Good. Alrighty guys, now I am going to use measurements here, so for the butter we're going to do, which is equivalent to, let's see, what are we here, what are we at? So instead of a half a cup, we're using a little bit less. So what are we at? Well, I think it was supposed to be half a stick. So we're going to go with half a stick. So we're going to cut this and we're going to go half. Alrighty guys, and here we go. We're gonna use half a stick. Hello, Billy Lee Lahone. Welcome. That's a little too high. I gotta turn this down a bit. Possibly move it a bit. Yeah, so it's a little bit different, I'll be honest. Yes, it is. I mean, I've used gas ranges before, and I, I cook outdoors, uh, so I, you know, I kind of have an idea. But um, yes, this is going to take some time getting used to. Alrighty, so after that, we're going to let this sizzle, and once it's done sizzling, we're going to add the brown sugar, and then we're going to pour, I'm sorry, we're going to add the... Um, pineapples and the cherries don't let me forget the cherries guys I always forget the cherries actually I'm gonna save that pineapple juice just in case Once again, hopefully everybody is having a lovely week night. I know that we were running behind and I didn't really mention much, 
But as I've said, I'm trying my best to uh, finally be moved in to my new home. Alrighty. So, once we're, we're good and melted, I think we're good. Yep, that's good. We're going to cut it off. So we're going to let that cool a bit. We're going to add the uh, brown sugar, which I totally forgot. We're going to do about a tablespoon. Yes, one tablespoon. Actually, we'll go, we'll see. Might Maybe more than, than a tablespoon. You can, you can speak. Okay, I'll go up there in a minute, okay? All righty. Yeah, grab a juice. Kiddos here, um, they, they're they used to, you know, uh, I always tell my kids, like, do your best to uh, to uh, not be screaming and yelling, I said, because uh, I want everybody to hear me really well, but, I mean, they're kids, what, how, what can I do? And um, either way, I don't mind, hopefully you guys don't mind that they sometimes pop in here and there. So we did, I think that was what, two tablespoon guys? Actually what we're gonna do is kick this on a tiny tad. And we're gonna let this caramelize just a bit. My sister, she's always defending them. I said she spoils them too much. Hello, Cynthia. Luis may not know how to act if someone else wins the giveaway. What do you guys mean? I'm a little lost. Now this burner is very nice because uh, it has this uh, center one here as well. So there's one in the middle and then there's that bigger one on the edge. I feel like it provides more even heating, which is nice, and it gets hot quick. So that is very nice versus the electric stove. I mean, I still like my electric stove, but uh, this is, to me, uh, a bigger upgrade. All righty, I think that should be enough. So we're going to move on to uh, adding the pineapples and the cherries. Here we go. <sighs> Only Cynthia wins. Cynthia, they're after you. Yeah, I can't believe she actually won twice, guys. Believe me, it wasn't rigged. Oh. Hello, Yaya. Yaya's here, guys. Uh, this is also, that's my niece. Uh, I mentioned her uh, during the live on Saturday. She was helping her mother uh, during the yard sale. But anyway, here we go. We're going to add the uh, pineapples. And I have, I don't have heat anymore. But as you can tell, there's still residual heat. Oh, man. Some crack. We're gonna move this one for a minute. Oh, some of these are breaking. This is usually the part that I always forget the cherries. I take them out and then I always forget. So I'm keeping, I keep talking about them because I don't want to forget them this time. Oh, perfect. That's a good size right there. And we only have two pineapple slices left. So here we go. I'm going to scoot you guys in a little bit more. So forgive me if I move you guys too much, but here we go. There we are. Now we're going to add some cherries. You know, and what I should have done was actually 
strain some of these, but well, it is what it is now. We're gonna add that guy here. Some of these still have a stem. So make sure you guys remove your stem. You don't wanna be eating a stem. Moving this over here. All right. So once we pop this in the oven, we're gonna do the uh, giveaway, guys. So bear with me. And if you guys are intimidated by baking, this is probably one of the easiest ways to get into it. Um, you know, this is a great way for you guys to be introduced into baking. And from there, you just pretty much follow baking directions uh, on recipes and you can start baking, you know, with uh, your, your own ingredients. Um, you can make cakes from scratch and you don't necessarily need a boxed uh, cake mix. Um, but the, the boxed cake mix does help out with uh, just, um, you know, alleviating the time. You don't have to do much except for, uh, you know, mixing it and reading this in the instructions, guys. Uh, Sylvia, you do not cook, and I'm putting you out there. This is why you're not, you know, the the lot, the giveaway for you would make no sense. I mean, if you pick up cooking, then yes. I'm just kidding, guys. She does cook. I'm just teasing her. I like to make fun of my sister. I'm actually very, I'll be honest, guys, I'm very mean to my sisters, but that's kind of like the job of a brother. Um... At least in my, you know, I, I make fun of uh, my sister-in-law, Naomi. I make fun of my sisters. I, it's definitely my wife. Like, I'm, you know, but never to the point where I'm being rude. At least I, I don't hope so. And I think that my family knows me pretty well now that they know that I'm joking half the time. So there's that, too. But anyway, with that, we're going to pour the batter in now. And we're going to actually got to get this oven going. Alrighty, so let's pour the batter. My <laughs> water, she cooks water. Wow, Naomi. All right, I don't know if it's Naomi or Yaya, which is my uh, my niece. All right, we're gonna pour this in. Yeah, this is nice. Makes pouring a so much easier versus a, a mixing bowl that doesn't have a handle. Let's just put it that way. I don't know why, but I feel like I'm missing a step, guys. This is a lot of batter. Wasn't expecting it to be this much. I hear you. I, I'll give, give me a minute, okay? Give me a minute. Yeah, give me a minute. Alrighty, now we gotta turn on the oven and uh, we'll get rocking, rocking and rolling. I hear, I hear you, I know. Okay, All right, her legs are falling asleep, okay. My kiddos, they need, uh, they don't have their, they usually, my kids have a, um, a little chair so that they can reach all the way down to, uh, from the uh, toilet but uh, they don't have that right now. So they're having a difficult time because they are, my youngest is three years old. So she's having a hard time. But anyway, we're going to kick on the oven. So just so you guys can see. BMF7831, thank you for the donation. I appreciate that. So uh, here we go. What is, where is this? Uh, we are doing uh, bake and we are going at, what's it say? 375? 350. We're going at 350, guys. So this is a 36 inch uh, stove and I love it. Um, I haven't used it much or actually I haven't used it at all, but I, I like it a lot. So this is gonna be the first time that we use it. I did read instructions and I made sure I, I had an idea of how this works. So anyway, with that, we're gonna place it in the oven. I'm gonna place you guys over here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Alrighty, here we go. Now, I did already preheat it, so I'm just going to place it in there, guys. Let's see, is this too hot? It is warm. 
So the thing that I like about this oven too is that these uh, have little guide or you know like rails, so very nice. I do like that a lot. But anyway, with that, we're gonna place it in there. And to be on the safe side, guys, I think I'm gonna put a baking sheet sheet under it. So we're gonna do that as well. Let me go grab my baking sheet. Just to avoid any kind of mess, I don't want to ruin it right now. So we're going to put a baking sheet in there and there we are guys. So much space in there, I can definitely fit a uh, 16 inch, that Field Company 16 inch um, dual handle pan, but yes. Oh and that's right now, this is what I'm using for my stand. That's what I was using, that's where my phone was at right now guys. So as I mentioned, I don't have all my gear. So uh, I'm doing with what I, I can. So bear with me. I got to go uh, tend with my child real quick, and I will be back. Give me about two minutes. Should be quick. All righty. Bear with me, guys. Actually, I need to set a timer. How long does this take? What is the baking time on this thing? Uh, da, 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 what is a uh, bun cake? So about 38 to 40 minutes. So I'm going to set a timer for 40 minutes. What time is it right now? Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to cook this in within the uh, stream time. So I might just post photos later, but we're going to do 40 minutes. It's uh, so 7, 7 o'clock over here, 7.09. So 7.49. All right, you guys, bear with me. I will be right back. guys i am back so here we are this is the giveaway we have the number 11 or i'm sorry number nine technically a number nine uh so this is the uh the new one that came out or not necessarily that just came out you know lodge has made number nines before but uh they had quit making the 11 inch pan and uh right now they brought it back exclusively for uh costco so if you guys do have a costco membership uh, you guys can go to costco and uh, they do have them for i, I want to say 20 dollars, so 19.99 and uh, as i mentioned if you guys are interested you guys can go buy yourself one but for today we're actually going to give it away so with that being said we're also going to give away a, uh, it's, you know, it's summertime, guys, and uh, most of you, or I want to say maybe half of you, uh, might go camping or might go out or something of that nature. So I also am going to include the Wonderlust little utensil kit right here. It's a reusable utensil kit that comes with a spoon, a fork, and also a straw. So pretty cool, and uh, we're going to include this. It does come with a handle from the... Uh, uh, when you purchase it, it does come with this silicone handle. And once again, as I mentioned, we're going to add this as well. So bear with me. Let me just uh, 
Let me get things going, guys. Actually, before we get going, hold on. Give me a minute. I need to find my... Um, I usually use uh, my phone for the uh, random generator, but I don't have my phone because I'm using it to stream. So uh, let me grab my tablet, which I do have a tablet. And uh, let me see where that's at. Oh, my goodness. I just found it. My kids uh, drained the battery, so... Give me a minute. Oh my goodness! Sorry, guys. All righty, I just got a quick. I do a got. I got to do a quick charge on the tablet, and we'll do the giveaway. So, bear with me. All righty. Well, while we wait for the uh, my tablet to just boot up, we're gonna um, talk about. Uh, the chat, let's see. I want to see what the chat is talking about. So I do want to see your guys' conversation, what you guys are talking about. Do you guys have any questions about uh, anything? Let me know in the, in the chat. All right, let's see. Pull up the chat. So now you guys are talking about something. Let's see. Right, right. Happy early birthday, Luis. Thank you, uh, Billy Lee Lahone. Appreciate that. Yes, who, uh, I wonder who mentioned it. What is the number, 1 to 200? Yeah, we'll do that in a minute, guys, so... Not quite yet. Uh, as I mentioned, my, my uh, kiddos were using my tablet, so that did die. And uh, right now I do have a quick charger, so it has booted up, actually, which is nice. Oh, wait, I forgot my code. But I, I want to read the chat real quick before we get started. Bookworm73 says, uh, I passed on a Sportsman grill today for $100. Missing the top grill, the handle, the heat regulatory thingy, no thanks. Yeah, that's – when it's missing certain things, uh, yeah, you might want to hold off on it. Although, if it was the older model, the uh, Fire Bowl that has just the the two little sides instead of the almost like hook-looking things, uh, those are hard to come by, and uh, I like those better. And they do resell – 
for, for more money. Cynthia, oh Cynthia, did you did you ended up uh, did you get your your uh, winning prizes? You said it was like Christmas. I'm hoping that you got your uh, cookware that uh, you won. I bet she cooks a mean ramen noodle. I know, right? Guys, for the longest time, that's all I would eat was just ramen noodle, especially when I was a kid. BMF7831, thank you for the $5 donation. I appreciate that. I don't know if I had mentioned it, but I do want to say thank you. Missing the syrup like topping made from butter and brown sugar. Yeah, so the uh, right now what I did with the brown sugar and the uh, butter, that technically is the, uh, what do you call it? The caramel It's a, or a caramel, 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 whatever way you guys like saying it. But yes, that technically is the syrup. Alrighty, guys. I think that's about it. Do you guys have any questions? Do you guys want to see the stovetop? Uh, is there anything before we get going? Or should we just go jump in straight into the giveaway? Let me know. What do you guys think? <clears throat> Luis is going to bake his own birthday cake. Yeah, I probably will. Actually, now that you say it, Jeanette. And uh, hello, Jeanette. I, I don't think I saw you earlier, so uh, welcome. As you can see, we are here in the new home. Uh, and we're this is the first time that we use the stovetop. So I'm, I'm very excited with that. And the oven, actually. Debbie says, can I sell you my chicken fryer with the lid for $100? Oh, my goodness. What kind of uh, fryer is it? It's a, if it's a Griswold with a lid, yes. Definitely buy it for $100. Debbie says, yes, I want to see the stovetop. Yeah, okay. All righty. So story behind this stove. Uh, my brother ended up going to uh, Lowe's, I think it was. And my brother always finds great deals. And this isn't the one that usually goes... Uh, doing um, yard sale hunts for me and he finds a lot of cast iron. Um, that's not him. This is my other brother. So um, the one that does all the woodwork and the carpentry and does all the uh, collecting for me at yard sales, uh, his name is F uh, Fidel. Um, and Fidel, he, he does a lot of uh, hunting for me, like ironware and, and that stuff. And he does the wooden spatulas. But Javier is my other brother. Javier, uh, he, he finds a lot of great sales on appliances and all kinds of things. So um, he's very savvy with that. But anyway, he found this stove, guys. This stove, as it is, it was a returned item. No, not, not infidel. It's Fidel, like uh, F-I-D-E-L, Fidel. Yes, uh, and he's actually Junior, so Fidel Junior. My father's name is Fidel, but anyway. So he found this stovetop. I want you guys to just take a quick guess how much this, this range, I'm sorry, this range is, this gas range. So it's a dual fuel, which is gas on the top and then electric in the oven. So the oven's not gas, it's electric, which I, to be honest, I prefer that. But... This is a 36-inch uh, Z-Line brand, which technically it has okay reviews. It's, it's not the best. It's not the worst. It's more of a commercial-grade stove. And, I mean, but I, you know, when I, he told me about it, I said, no, let's buy it um, because of the price. So he, he ended up finding this, as, as I mentioned, uh, as a returned item for $300. So he got it for $300 which is a huge discount, huge discount, guys, $300. I kid you not. And Naomi, which is my sister-in-law, she can actually tell you guys, you know, whether I'm lying or not because uh, she knew about it as well, I think. Uh, I'm sure that my brother told her about it. But that's, yeah, 
Rick, that's a steal. So, of course, I was going to jump on this. And, uh, you know, the standard size for um, this is 30 inches. So we had to, you know, when we remodeled, uh, we had to uh, obviously adjust it, adjust all the, the like this as well. So I bought my, um, I bought the uh, hood range from Z-Line as well to keep it the same. And uh, this was three hundred dollars. So, uh, you know, I was I was ecstatic. I was I was so happy. I was, you know, and this is why I was so thrilled to to finally move out. But yeah, uh, this is amazing for three hundred dollars. Definitely a huge deal. And uh, but the downside is that th they had it on the on the show floor. Somebody came by, walked by, and ended up stealing the front door, the uh, oven door. Somebody stole the oven door. And, I, you know, I, when I opened it and, and uh, took it out of the, because uh, it was already open, when I took it out of the plastic wrap, I noticed that it was missing the door. And I think Rick even kind of, you know, everybody was kind of poking fun at me. And obviously all in fun. I mean, I didn't take anything like that, you know, offensive. Um, but yeah, you, you know, it was missing the, uh, the oven door and I called Z line and they said, Hey, we don't usually ship that with the range, the gas range. She says, she told me, she's like, usually you get to pick the, you know, the color. If you want a color to it, they have white, gray, uh, they have colors to it and they can go custom. You can go fully custom on this, on the door itself. And I said, you know what? No, we're just going to go with the stainless steel. And it was $600. So the oven door was more money than the stove, uh, which, uh, you know, was funny enough. So in total, the, the stove came out to be about $900, which, I mean, yes, you know, now that I say it, it's, it sounds like a lot of money. But these do retail for about $2,800, I think. Uh, or 3500 depending on the model. But I want to say this one was about $2,800 uh, brand new. Um, and this was actually brand new because it had all the stickers on it, uh, all the plastic wrap on it. It was just a returned item. But for $900, I still think it was a steal. And as I mentioned, very excited, very happy with the stove top. So uh, full-size, 36-inch. We got full-size burners here. Um, there's a dual burner here where uh, you can see it has a bigger ring and then a smaller ring right there. Uh, we also got a full size here in the back. Then we got the center griddles, uh, which is very, very nice. I do like that. Uh, full size, medium size, not full. And then back here, we also have a... Well, actually, I want to say that this one's a full size. So full size, medium, 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 full size... And then back there we have a small, that one's tiny. But, uh, you know, in the finish itself, I do like the fact that it's, uh, it's almost like, um, you can't tell like that, that there's scratches on this because they give it this finish where it's almost like wire wheeled. And I prefer that because if it's a, you know, a single like smooth stainless steel piece, there's, you know, obviously you're going to see scratches, you're going to see all these other things, imperfections. And I like that they, they gave it already a somewhat of a wire wheel finish to avoid, you know, seeing that, um, which I like a lot. So very happy with the stovetop, very happy with the range. And uh, the hood range also, as I mentioned, uh, I got it from Z-Line. Pretty industrial. Um, I don't know if I like the filters very much. Um, they're just aluminum filters, aluminum grates, but we'll see how that works. Either way, though, I think uh, I think we got a pretty good deal. So I'm, I'm happy with what we have now, and I'm excited to do more cooking videos for you guys. And uh, I feel like we're just, um, we're going up in the sense uh, where, you know, I'm hoping that the channel gets a, a little bit bigger, and I'm hoping that um, there's more, more techniques involved in the... Um, in the type of recipes that I make. Um, and I'm hoping that I can, you know, uh, help you guys out with recipes and showing you guys some of the Mexican recipes that I know and uh, all the cuisine that I like to eat uh, or, you know, that we like to eat. Um, my wife is big on Italian food, so uh, I feel like this, this is going to provide a bit more help 
uh, with certain recipes. So I'm happy. <clears throat> Debbie says, that's my dream stove. Yeah. And honestly, guys, um, you know, as I mentioned, I just want to say thank you to my brother. You know, he uh, he helped me out. Um, otherwise, I would not. Otherwise, to be honest, I would have just I would have been OK with a another electric or possibly a, a smaller 30 inch, the standard size, the 30 inch uh, gas range. I would have been OK with that. But this, you know, that's this is like uh, just a huge blessing, to be honest. It's a huge blessing and I like it um, and I'm happy and I'm. Uh, very ex excited for future videos with, uh, with you know, cast iron cookware on this gas range. So with that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Or, you know, I'm sorry, this, this quick little introduction of the gas range. Um, I think it's pretty cool. One thing, though, that I did notice is that it doesn't have that drawer down here, which, well, it's fine. But um, lift it off the ground. Uh, there's nothing under that. It's completely... Uh, open space down there so I, I like that as well i'm not saying that that's a bad thing but uh the oven though uh pretty wide and i like that a lot it's it's narrow uh or you know in the height it's not that tall but it's super wide so i think it's a it's a win they do have upgrades for this but possibly down the road i might consider an upgrade with the uh, burners knobs even the handle you can add do upgrades with that but not a big deal right now i'm just happy with what i have so with that, let's jump into the giveaway. Enough rambling. I feel like I'm just, uh, what do you call it? What's that word? Uh, I feel like I'm showing off, and I don't like that. That's not my nature, you know. Um, we came from very humble beginnings, and I still am, you know. I'm, my wife likes to say that we're bougie broke, and she's correct because I am horrible at managing my finances, so. Uh, and it's all in due in part to uh, cast iron cookware. Just don't tell her that. But anyway, <laughs> all right, guys, let's get into the uh, the giveaway. So we are giving this away. As always, I always have to say this. This is not sponsored or endorsed by Lodge nor by YouTube. This is something that I do for the viewers. So all I ask is that you guys are within the uh, United States. Uh, also, that uh, you are um, a subscriber. I would appreciate if you are a subscriber, as well as hitting the like button on this video. And with that, I think we can move on. We're going to do the same thing, guys. So please do not spam the number. We're going from 1 to 200, 1 to 200. And you guys are already going off. So I can see the numbers already flying in. So with that being said, uh, good luck to everybody Cynthia, I know a lot of people are, 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 you know, hoping that you don't win this round once again. Um, but, you know, we, we do our best to keep it as, as, uh, as fair as possible. This is why we do the run, random number generator. So once everybody's done, we'll give it about a minute or so. And uh, once everybody has placed their number in, we will get going. And once again, please, please don't spam the number. Just place it once. And uh, also, I uh, ask that you do not. Uh, change your number because if you do then you will be disqualified so those are the rules uh, once again this is something that i'm doing for the viewers this is something as a uh, you know an appreciation for you guys i know that your time is valuable and i appreciate you guys stopping by and watching me uh you know bake bake a pineapple upside down cake all righty guys <clears throat> Once again, as I mentioned, good luck to everybody. All right, here we go. All right, let me pull up the app. Here we go. Random number generator, 1 to 200. So good luck to everybody. Here we go. All righty, guys. So we're doing minimum number 1, maximum number 200. Done. And here we go, just so you guys can see. Good luck to everybody. Here we go. Generate. 162. 162, guys. All right. Who is 162? Who is the closest? My sister put in 199. Sadly, you are not the winner. 180 for Jackie Mills. Dark Horse 5064. Jose Marquez 16. 
Jordan, uh, 23, Gardening and Growing, 130, Astra Ann, 198, 156, Debbie, you are the closest so far, 156, uh, Bookworm, 73, 153, uh, so, uh, who was it? Um, let's see, who else? Where am I? I feel like I'm missing numbers. 153 for Bookworm. Uh, 156 is the closest so far. 120, 143. And it looks like, yes, who was 156? Debbie, it looks like you are the winner. Debbie, so congratulations, Debbie. 153. And what was the number? 162? Yeah, so number was 162. So, yeah, 153. Debbie, congratulations. Uh, Debbie, do I have your email? Have you won before? If so, let me know right now in the comments. If not, if you have not won before and uh, this is your first time, then uh, you can find my email if you go to the website, the actual website, not the app, but if you go to the website, you can find my email address on the About tab if you go to my channel. Go to the About tab and you can find my email address. And if you cannot find it there, once this video uploads to YouTube, leave me a comment and we'll get in touch and I will be sending this out as soon as I can. So once again, Debbie, congratulations. You have won the 11-inch uh, pan along with the Wonderlust. Uh, reusable utensil kit so congratulations I will be sending you out this and just so you guys can see brand new skillet no design on the bottom but it does come with a um, silicone handle holder and the size to be honest I think this is a perfect size because I feel sometimes that the ten and a quarter is a bit too small and the 12 inch might be a bit too big so I think the 11 falls right in the middle and honestly it's almost like a goldilocks uh, size um i like the number nines a lot and i kind of wanted to show you guys the um you know comparison with the uh, lodge this is a lodge or i'm sorry a lodge this is a griswold and the lodge so here we have let me see let me move the camera here we have the number nine griswold uh and it's i want to say just about the same size if there's any differences i think it's i believe it'd be just in the uh so yeah exactly the same size the only difference is just the pour spouts so this is a great size it's 11 inches in diameter or in radius whatever the term is but great size guys so uh, if you guys do have a Costco membership, I do recommend that you guys go pick it up because it is not available on the Lodge website or anywhere else. Just a Costco exclusive at the moment. So I'm hoping that they will be doing a, uh, you know, a more standard uh, sale for this instead of just having it uh, as a Costco exclusive. But who knows? I mean, it might just stay with Costco. So with that... Let's take a look at the uh, cake, or actually, let me read some of your comments. Debbie says, yes, Luis, I have one before. Okay. I, yeah, I thought, I believed so. So, congratulations. Once again, I appreciate everybody that is here, and um, we'll see in a minute where how the cake is doing. Let me uh, check it out real quick. All right, it's getting there. So I think it's a good thing that I placed a um, sheet pan under the, the uh, stargazer. I'll show you guys why. Now, let's see. Uh, I don't know if you guys can tell. It's risen quite a bit. But um, I did place the uh, sheet pan uh, underneath it. So if there is any kind of overflow, it will go into that sheet pan and not all over the oven. But uh, if you guys want to take a quick look, we're going to do a quick peek. Very, very quick. There we go. So with that, actually, guys, I want to say that we're going to call it a night. I will post a, uh, a quick video on YouTube, most likely a short, maybe some photos. I'll do a, uh, a post on, on YouTube Live. Or I'm sorry, on YouTube. 
And uh, with that, or unless you guys want to stick around, but that's pretty much all I'm doing today. Uh, I appreciate everybody who is here. But if you guys want to chat, let me know. If we can continue chatting, we can talk about anything that you guys might be interested in. If you guys have any questions, let me know. For now, I think we're okay. If you guys have any questions about any cookware, whether it's Smithy, uh, Finex, Lodge, um, any vintage stuff, anything you guys might want to talk about, let me know. If not, then we might call it a night. I do know that it's a week night, and a lot of you uh, have to go to work. And, and uh, yes, I actually, I have to go to, uh, to work early tomorrow morning to beat the heat just quickly, just so that, you know, a little bit of uh, chatting here. But I do uh, HVAC work. That's what I, my line of work is. And uh, we are having record-breaking heat. Uh, we are supposed to get it get into the 106, uh, I think, on Saturday. So the over the 100s, we're getting into the 100s now. And same thing with Sunday, 106 is what is forecasted. So I don't know where you guys are at, but if you guys are going to be out camping or or being outside, be safe. Drink good amount good amount of water. Uh, drink lots of fluids. Stay hydrated and don't be out in the sun too much. Uh, I, you know, luckily had recently bought, bought a, for work, I bought a shade, which really does provide a lot of help. So um, I'm, I'm happy with that and it does provide some protection against the sun. So, but for those of you that might be doing some outdoor activity this weekend, be safe. Be, you know, I, I heard that uh, most of the nation might be getting a heat wave, especially California here in Nevada. That's where I'm at. We're getting one as well. Rick, I think uh, you're in Vegas, I think, Rick. Yeah, 118. Wow, 118. Definitely don't want to be in Vegas right now, that for sure. Naomi says, what are we eating for your birthday? I have no idea yet. I still have to decide what. I mean, there's a lot of things I want to cook. But I don't know yet. Um, I don't know if we're going to go with Italian food or possibly um, American or what, you know, maybe some barbecue. I don't know yet. I There's so many things that I want to do. I, I mean, I still haven't even had the chance to do some Dutch oven cooking, but this weekend is going to be hot. And I don't know if I want to be outside. So I might just do something indoor and uh, maybe something that we can all share. So maybe I was thinking possibly some lasagna. And if so, I'll, I'll post a video of that, guys. So I might be doing some lasagna for my birthday, which actually lands on Monday. So Monday I will be posting just a video of my, uh, you know, for my birthday, uh, what, what, we're, what I'm going to be cooking. And to be honest, is I enjoy cooking. So it's, it's always a treat for me. And uh, I asked my wife... Um, if she would let me cook something expensive. And uh, she said, well, what, what do you want to cook? And I said, well, I wanted to cook uh, some uh, either ribeyes, uh, do, you know, something like that. But, I mean, we're talking about the whole family. So, but I don't know yet. I have no idea. I, but I'm thinking lasagna since we haven't had uh, lasagna in a long time. Anyway, guys, with that, as I mentioned, I appreciate everybody who was here. I appreciate uh, everybody who tuned in. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend. I will catch you guys next uh, live. Next live, we'll do something more on the stovetop. We'll do more cooking, and we'll do different ironware. Uh, let me know what you guys are interested. Leave some comments in this video. Let me know what you guys want to see Give me some ideas because I'm starting to kind of run a little low on ideas on what kind of, uh, you know, recipes or cookware you guys want me to talk about. Um, I might actually just post a, uh, a poll so you guys can vote. We, we can do some um, carbon steel, some uh, maybe Dutch oven cooking or even um, some baking. So let me know. Let me know what you guys would like to see. So with that. I will see you guys next Thursday. Be safe. Take care, everybody, and look out for the uh, for the video, the sh the short for the pineapple upside down cake. With that, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Good night.